Hello everyone and welcome to your 10 minute stretch. My name is Caitlin and for today's class all that you'll need is your yoga mat and enough space to move around. We'll meet in tabletop, come to your hands and knees, your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, cow pose and exhale, cat back. Smooth and organized, inhale, cow, lift the heart. Exhale, cat spine, tuck your pelvis. A few more rounds, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat back. Try to breathe a little deeper into your belly. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat spine. Inhale, cow pose with the tailbone and crown of head. Exhale, cat back. And find your neutral table, extend your left foot over to the left side of your space. Take a breath in, feel shoulders over wrists. Exhale, half child pose, sink your hips back. Inhale to rise, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, sink it back. Inhale, return, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, half child pose. A few more, inhale, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, sink back into your right hip crease. Inhale to stack shoulders over wrists and on your exhale, lizard lunge. Step left foot outside of your left hand. Take a breath in like cow pose, lift your heart. Exhale, half split, straighten your left leg. Inhale, lizard lunge, lift your heart, lift your eyes. Exhale, half split, straight left leg. Inhale to lizard, elevate your heart. Exhale, half split, melt your head really heavy. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your head, and exhale, push back into half splits. Shift forward into your lizard lunge, lift the heart, lift the gaze, and exhale, push it back, a half split. And return to your table, find your neutral. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, broken toe, tuck your toes under, and take a seat on your heels. Inhale, arms high, exhale, back bend, goalpost arms. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, back bend, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open heart. Inhale, lengthen, get really high, lift the shoulders. Exhale, back bend, soften shoulders. Inhale, lift up, shoulders to ears. Exhale, table top. And step your right foot over to the right, outer heel firm, take a breath in. Exhale, half child pose, left hip, left heel. If you're a little more familiar, inhale, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, sink it back and work with your hips. Inhale, shoulders over wrists, your hands are alive, and exhale, sink it back. Inhale to rise. Exhale, push back. Inhale, shoulders over wrists, and exhale, sink back, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, shoulders over wrists, and exhale, lizard lunge, step outside of your right hand. Inhale, cow pose, lift your heart. Exhale, half split, straighten your right leg. Inhale, lizard lunge, lift your heart. Exhale, half split, sink it back and bow forward. Inhale, cow pose, sink your hips. Exhale, half split, stretch right hamstrings. Inhale, cow pose, shoulders back and exhale, half split, forward fold. Inhale, cow pose, lift your heart. Exhale, half split, straighten your right leg. Rise up into your table, come back to your hands. Inhale, cow. Exhale, broken toe pose. Take your double check and make sure that your pinky toes are tucked under. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, arms lengthen, lift high. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, upward stretch, lift your chest and chin. Exhale, twist open to the right. Inhale through the middle, fill up your lungs, exhale, twist to the left. 
Inhale, sweep high, palms might touch. Exhale, open arms to the right. Inhale, stretch high. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, lift up shoulders to ears. Exhale, table top, hands and knees. Find your downward facing dog, tuck your toes and elevate your hips. If it feels helpful for your feet, take a few heel pedals, lift one high and dip the other low. Return to table, tight cross at your ankles, roll over your feet and plant your feet out in front of you, bend your knees. Figure four on the left, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, puff up your chest and lift your gaze. You can stay right here, but if you like double pigeon, toe heel your right foot across your mat. Stack your shins, option to forward fold, drop your chin to your chest, and take three cycles of breath. If this is really intense on your hips, please back out and return to figure four. And if you opted for that fold, you walk your hands back towards your shins, start to lift your torso, return to your figure four shape, feel that your right foot is on the mat. And drop your legs over to the right, twist to the right, ultimately to the back of your space. Elevate your heart and lift the crown of your head. Just notice what you feel and find through outer left thigh. Take a big breath in and exhale, unwind from the twist. Second side, figure four on the right. Hands firm behind you, pride in your heart. You can stay right here, but if you'd like double pigeon, toe heel your left foot across your mat. Stack your shins and your calves. You can stay lifted in the heart or begin to forward fold. Jalandhara Bandha, drop your chin to your chest and take three really big breaths into your back body. Walk your hands back towards your legs, lift your torso, come back to your figure four, left foot on the mat. Take a twist, drop your legs to the left, twist to the left, look to the back of your space, elevate your heart, and lift through the crown of your head, an imaginary string pulling you taut. All the way down to the low belly, breathe in and exhale, unwind, uncross. Come to your seat and take your legs wide into a V-shape, hips to heels, flex your feet strong. Take a breath in, Urdhva Hastasana lift. Exhale, side body stretch to the right, bow out your left side. Inhale through the middle, lift heart and hands. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Now take this at your rhythm, your pace. The inhalation, upward stretch through shoulders and arms. Exhale, side body stretch in either direction. It's organized, it's intentional. And you link the movement with your conscious breathings. Let your breath remind you that it is safe to be in your body. It is safe for you to be in this moment. Finish up the round that you're on, collect your legs and extend both of them out long in front of you. Flex your feet, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold over your straight legs, option to drop the chin to the chest. When you inhale, lift your heart and when you exhale, melt your forehead closer to your legs. About three cycles of breath to open your back body. Press your hands into the floor, lift your torso, come back to table, hands and knees. We'll set up for Virasana Hero's Pose, inner knees together, take your feet wide, sink your hips back towards your heels. If there is any pain in your knees, it's not worth it, so don't do it. Return to your hands and just find that sweet spot as you begin to sink the hips. If your buttocks is grounded and you feel okay, take your hands behind you and recline to your elbows, shoulders, or head. 
If you're reclined, grab a hold of opposite elbows and take a few breaths into your sacrum and low back body. Sensation, absolutely, but nothing is meant to be painful or jarring to your body. If you're reclined, sit tall, lift your torso, and paw your hands forward, tabletop into downward facing dog. Lengthen out your legs. As you breathe in, lift your shoulders up to your ears, and as you breathe out, shoulders down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. One more, inhale, shoulders to your ear lobes. Exhale, slide the shoulders down. From tabletop, take a seat on your heels, and that will complete today's practice. Breathe into your body and open mouth, exhale. From my heart to yours, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. It was absolutely my pleasure to guide you through this 10 minute lower body stretch. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon.